Hi, welcome to Heart of Philly. Today we are at the Riverwinds Restaurant in West Stafford, New Jersey, right across the river from Philadelphia. Let's go in and meet Ian the chef and see what the Riverwinds has to offer. And we're with Master Chef Ian Pelagi today. Ian, tell us what you're going to create. Uh, today we're going to be doing the uh, chicken paisano. What it is, it's a uh, healthy chicken dish, uh, Italian style with pasta. It's got artichokes, asparagus, sun-dried tomatoes, a little garlic wine sauce, and fresh mozzarella. Great, that sounds very good. Now, what, what type of a dish is this? Is this an Italian dish? Yes, this is a very Italian-inspired dish. Now, we're not an Italian restaurant, but we do have a lot of Italian influences um, in my training and in some of the food that we do here. Before you start, mm -hmm. I know you were in a, a chef a, a, a contest recently mm -hmm. in South Jersey. Can mm -hmm. you tell us about that? Uh, that was the South Jersey Top Chef through uh, SouthJersey.com. Waiting to find the results, actually. Okay. We were supposed to find out yesterday. Uh, if we won, I was, I'm in the finals against the Chop House, and uh, hopefully we won. We'll find out probably tomorrow. Okay, you'll have to let us know. Okay? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's, I think that we're gonna, I'm going to create something. I'm going to create a challenge between the Philadelphia and the South Jersey Hot Chefs. How about that? That would be a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to yeah, have to do that. would actually be a lot of fun. <laughs> And we'll see across the river who can, who can create. That would be great. We're going to get that going, okay? And we know Jersey's going to be Philly. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we got a little olive oil on the pan. The first thing we're going to do is take our chicken. We're going to season it on both sides with a little salt and pepper. Make sure you always want to season both sides so it tastes equally good on both uh, sides of the food that you're eating, no matter what it is. Let your pan get nice and hot. When you start seeing the smoke come up is when you want to go in it. If you go in before that, you run the risk of your item, in this case being chicken, sticking. And you always want to hear what you're cooking. When you're searing it, you always want to hear it. That's how you know your pan's nice and hot. And now it's not sticking. We'll let that go for a couple minutes, just get a little bit of color on it. Then we'll flip it over and go into the oven and whip it. While that's going on, we'll start the sauce. a nice golden brown is when you're going to want to flip it over. You're going to do the same. Get a little golden brown on both sides. Now you could do this whole dish in one pan and not take it out like if you're cooking at home. But for all intents and purposes and being in a restaurant, it's about speed. So to multitask, we'll go with it in the oven to let it finish cooking in the oven. And while that's going on, we can get the sauce going. So let me just throw this in my oven real quick. Okay, now while that's going, we're going to take our vegetables, our artichokes, asparagus, sun-dried tomato, and a little bit of garlic. Let that saute up a little bit just to get a little bit of flavor out of it. A little more oil. Then we're going to take it off the flame and add a little bit of wine. Whenever you add alcohol, you always want to do it a little bit off the flame just in case it flares up. You don't have to worry about it exploding on you. Again, the sauce is separate from the dish, so you always want to season that also. Put a little salt and pepper in there. Give it a little bit of swirl to get all that base from the seared chicken and vegetables up there. It'll also give you a little bit of a darker color into your sauce. At this point, when the wine is about halfway reduced down, is when you're going to add the butter. That will make the sauce richer and it also thickens the sauce at the same time. So we'll start going in with our butter. want to taste to make sure that you have your seasoning right. Okay. Now that the 
sauce is finished, the chicken's almost done, so we're going to pull that out. Now part of also cooking is not only making sure it tastes good, but you also want to have a nice presentation to give it a nice visual effect also. So we'll take this, we're going to take our asparagus, give it a little bit of a pattern, then we're going to take our fresh mozzarella and go right over that when it melts and melts it all down nice and together. Now I'm going to take this and pop this under the boiler real quick for about a minute and a half to melt the cheese. While that's going on, I'm going to drop the pasta and let that go. Now for plating it up, I'm going to drain your pasta out really good. Make sure there's no water. Give it a little bit of a twirl. That makes me a basey chicken dish. Simply slide that over, get that little bit of chicken juice there. Now you want to take your sauce and make sure you get all that good vegetable there. Love you, heart of Philly. 